Hey tubers. Happy Saturday. Got old Boomer Doomer. Ain't had him out with me in the world for a while. And my main partner, old T Mozark at Terry. We're out in the big sea and check it out. The corn is finally coming up a little bit. Just to make them perfect rows. I love it when the corn's like this tall, about that tall. And you just got, I mean, good rows. You can you can see a lot when it's this short. Cause I was walking over in that path, juked way over here with my stick, pop this out. And it's just, a, it's a really pretty blade. That's one reason I figured I'd turn the camera on. But that was mainly the reason right there. Right from the, the disc. Cause that's what they do, they plow it and then they send the, the guy with the disc and the raker and cedar right behind him. That was done by one of them, but man, what a shame. Ooh, that may be pretty ground. It's got a little crook to it. That's pretty cool. I had found the ads, and it looks like it's a, it actually was maybe another tool or a big thick point or something, and then made into an adds, but that's got a lot of polish right there, but boy, that polish there, like a mirror, man. Awesome. We got some pretty good rain. Terry's house, he had over an inch and a half, and kind of looked out this way, it had an inch and a half to two inches, which it's washed our prints, and even the cattle prints down pretty hard, but boy, the cattle got in here, and they the neighbor's cattle. Yeah, they sure aerated it, but at least the cattle was in here before the corn really started coming up. Uh, they was in it after it had already been raked and seeded, but yeah, they had to put an electric fence all the way around the place. Well, I keep trying to get Boomer to test it for me, see what voltage it's on. We figured it's not their, for their cattle, it's for the neighbor's cattle, so they probably got her cranked up. You wouldn't want to have to lay there all day if you test it on the way in, because if it knocks you out, if you just lay that, we still going to hunt. Yeah. <laughs> we leave you a little, make sure you got your water close by. <laughs> well, looks like no live action on that one, so we're going to get off here to someone else find something. Going to do a flip. Cover this hump back. Oh, I love it when the corn's this high. And look at that. You got a perfect row all the way down. Awesome. Just awesome. All right, we'll get off here. Peace. Just coming along. Check this thing out. Yeah. Get a little view all the way around. Oh, oh that view all the way around. Oh. 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 Man. Broke right up that side. Oh, all shame. fresh broke too. Oh, that's a shame. Well, looks like a little wetly, huh? That'd be nice. Yep. Nice made. Well, Look at all that new fresh damage. Ouch! But that's field hunting for you. You're going to have lots of woulda, shoulda, couldas. We'll take her anyways. One of them heartbreakers. Yep. <clears throat> Well, been looking everywhere for a bird point, and then there one is, but it's got the tip missing. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that'd have been a pretty little dude. He, well, his paddle's go. still up there, ain't he? Yep. Like, I, like I was saying, time in the day. Boom, yeah. Orange and peach. Huh. Looks like it may have a regular impact on it, hard to tell. It may have just been how she broke. Uh, uh.
We'll take her. Thank you, Grant Spirit. Now maybe there'll be a, a hole one somewhere. We got buried there. What's that? Coin Juke live action piece? Oh, this is flake. Flake. That's a flake. We stepping on no corn now, Mike. The deer, they don't care about the corn. Don't pay no attention. Step wherever they want. Well, we'll get off here to someone find something. <laughs> Of a needle tip to her. Some nice mosaic. Look at that lightning bolt running down through there. Sorry, I can't see through my camera when I got my polarized glasses on. Pulls that down there. It's like some oolitic. Yeah, shame that was necked out of there. Let's go a needle tip on there. Yeah. Thank you, great spirit. Did you just find some live action? Yeah. Well, I hope it's whole. You know? Oh, oh look at the pressure. Oh. 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 Missing a little bit of the tip. Look at that wild base on that thing. Oh. Huh. Skinny old looking thing. Just turn, 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 the, turn the step. Huh? There it was. Heck, it wasn't. Where was hers at? Right there? Yeah, well, somewhere right there. Uh, Wherever the imprint was. Why couldn't the tip been on that one? But we wanted they weren't far apart from each other. Yeah, it was right there. There's my imprint. It's in the same row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Will actually was walking over here, and I spotted this one from way over here. But, Will, thank you, great spirit. Well, here we are at Terry's with a quick little cleanup. <clears throat> Oops, they're up my sunglasses. I ain't good. Scratch them up. Boomer's find. He had some other finds, some other pieces of tools and stuff, but just that arrowhead, this cool scraper here, got some awesome material. I mean, I don't know if that camera does it justice, but that's awesome. Then Terry's little pile he had here, a Campsville, so I think that is. A lot of people call Buck Creek, they got that Buck Creek look to them, but they're thick. And then had this little piece here. I think it was probably a bird point preform because we always find some teardrop little blades out there. But this thing's got some real fine workings all the way around the edge. Piece of a Smith, or that's what we think it is Smith or Etley. Just the ear part showing. And that's some gemstone quartz mosaic out there. And see all that little sparkling going on in there. I mean, you could literally cut a stone out of that and put that in a ring. Shame this little blade here was broke. I don't know if it was a thumb scraper or what, but I mean, it's worked on both sides. Awesome, awesome material. And awesomely worked, too, man. I mean, it's a real crying shame that's broke, but it's been broke a while. You can see the patina in there. But boy, if you can see that edge is just awesome. <laughs> he was doing real good at finding the corners today. Look at that. Just barely a little ear hanging on, man. I always still like them kind of finds. I always think they're cool. Just because you're like, how did that hang on? How did that hang on? And then he had this. Real shame as broke. Super thin. That's that first Atlee I found. I pulled out. 
all busted out freshly by the disc there. Had this little broken point. And this little broken point here, midsection. Oh, this adds here is just awesome. Some awesome, awesome material. And then check, I mean, just some severe polish on both sides. Especially inside this bit. Got a little neck out of it right there. Awesome, awesome material. Then this blade, and I guess this is actually an edge. If that was there, it would have that bit in, but from here to there, all that's ground. Heavily, heavily ground. But that's some awesome, awesome material. If this camera can do that piece justice. That's yeah, that's got some awesome color. Nice that is stuff. It's hard to appreciate something like that without holding it in your hand. Yeah. I mean, to really get to see the colors and the patterns in it, that's awesome stuff, too. And just get to... Look at the HD quality on this camera. Yeah, when you yeah get that's pretty good, yeah. It does Focused show us pretty in. good. Good. Maybe that does, will show us if they can't appreciate the... Yeah, this but newer camera is awesome. It's still better to hold it in your hand. Yeah, <laughs> it's always better to hold it in your hand. No argument there. Yeah, but that was a pretty, not too bad of a day, but mm -hmm. it should have been better. Yeah. It should have raked out and seeded. It should be better. That's a heartbreaker of a day right there. I'd love to see all that. But we got some more coming, some more rain coming, so we'll be back out there. Well, thanks for coming along. Thanks for your views and your comments, and if you get out to hunt, may you find a stellar point in your path. Hmm. Yeah, I just wonder what that is. Yeah, we ain't quite sure if that's an Etley. It's ground in the base. I mean, it has some Etley flaking to it, but, oh, man, it's... Well. And that looks so old. But I wonder if they just didn't break that off when they was making it, trying to get that rain off. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of looking at that. That's, just, That's one mean, of them hard to tell. Yeah. There's some flaking up in that. Yeah, I, mean, I know. Just one breakout, but I know how it can break funny too, though. Yeah. Yeah. I got mine the other day. My neck right there is a needle tip then, now. Then I pulled that. Stick all right. We won't keep you all no longer. <laughs> Thanks. Later. Thank you.